Whether she likes it or not, Greta Thunberg is the face of global climate activism. And at a gathering of political and economic elites, it's perhaps not surprising she quickly went on the offensive. She said big corporations are still putting profit before the planet. These people are going to go as far, far as they possibly can, as long as they can get away with it. They will continue to invest in fossil fuels. They will continue to, to throw people under the bus for their own gain. The world is struggling to meet its carbon-cutting targets and limiting global heating to 1.5 degrees. The war in Ukraine has forced some countries to turn temporarily back to coal and oil as they shun Russian gas. Thunberg was in Germany last week protesting against Berlin's decision to extend the life of a coal mine. She says the World Economic Forum should be listening to the people already suffering climate change, but they're not invited. The people who, who we really should be listening to are, are not here. Instead, we are bombarded with messages from people who are, who are basically the people who are causing this crisis. Later, she and fellow activists published their cease and desist notice, demanding fossil fuel CEOs stop digging for coal or opening new oil wells. It accuses them of misleading the public and threatens legal action. Inflation, recession and war threaten to distract world leaders from climate change, although some claim Russia's war in Ukraine could accelerate the green transition. They might also argue that the climate debate is now mainstream, and the fact that today activists are inside speaking, not outside protesting, is evidence of that. Simon McGregorwood, TRT World.